Hey friends, it's Carlos. I am back with some more great white shark footage. Uh, I, I am sad to say that we have not spotted the injured great white shark. It's been since August 28th uh, since we've last seen it, but our search will continue. Uh, the California wildfires have played a role in our monitoring of the great white sharks. Visibility has been really bad, but a couple days before visibility went downward, I was able to capture some great white sharks in a kelp bed, as well as some sharks swimming through some bait balls. So I'm gonna share that with you now. Let me know in the comments what you think and hopefully uh, in my next update I can tell you that we found the injured shark. I'm about 300 feet up here. It was a very clear day. Uh, you see a bird dive right there uh, and there's two great white sharks in this frame uh, and what you'll notice is this, there's dark patches around those sharks. I didn't realize what these dark patches were until I got up over uh, above the sharks and I noticed the movement. Uh, this is actually thousands, if not millions, of fish, and the fish are just getting out of the shark's way. Uh, you'll see here, uh, there's another drone there that's actually my wife's drone. She's flying a Mavic 2 Pro, and we often fly in tandems because uh, it allows us to spot each other, especially whenever I get really close to the water. She can actually tell me uh, visibly how close I am to the water. Uh, this is her view here. Now, when I do get really close, uh, I can actually see the detail of these fish. Uh, this clip is long, uh, but I'm gonna let it play through so that you can actually see uh, the action in, in these bait fish just moving out of the way of this one lone shark. This shark here is uh, one we thought had some kind of an injury on its face and uh, I photographed it up close and filmed it here. Uh, what this is is actually a battle scar. This shark uh, appears to have uh, five claw marks on the front and just a, about three more right behind its uh, pectoral fin there. Uh, that is more than likely from a, uh, a seal or sea lion uh, and um, sometimes uh, they do get scarred up while they're in battle. So as I said, the conditions have been pretty bad lately. So uh, we took this opportunity to bring out the uh, water drone, uh, as we call it. Uh, this drone is able to land on the water. Uh, but more importantly, uh, Harry is able to uh, get some images uh, really, really close of the shark's mouth uh, with this drone. And uh, it's through these images that we can tell that there are uh, hooks attached to some of these sharks mouths. In fact, this particular shark has two hooks uh, in its mouth and sinkers. And I'll leave you guys with this clip here. This is the Inspire 2 lifting up out of the frame just as a bird comes into view. Uh, this clip gives you an idea of how bad the visibility has been over the last 10 days uh, due to the California wildfires. 